Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I haven't touched base with you as to the status of my vendors. So it has been pretty cold in South Florida and um, we're seeing warmer days. As you could see, the sun is out this morning and um, you know, checking on the condition of my vendors. The leaves are intact, the roots also. Um, they're going through their ish with the cold weather. Normally when it gets cold, they, um, the roots, they tend to be, you know, dried, especially the end tips. So you could see that the tips are coming back. So the weather is improving somewhat. These, you could see the green tips that I always talk about, they're coming back they got burnt you could see this one here got burnt during the um the winter period so the tips are coming back and that's a good sign guys see they're all coming back they're looking plump again so you know i, I continue to do my my treatment my weekly fertilizing I water once instead of twice daily during the, the winter period. So look, at, so look at that one, how plump it is getting, see? Because they, they don't like to be cold, they're the roots. So I hold back on one of the watering. Um, if it is cold in the mornings, I will water in the afternoon and vice versa. So they're still intact. You know, they are still getting ready for the spring season. And some of my blooms, this is a rebloom from the pink farmer eye. Dendrobium pink farmer eye. This is a rebloom. I had um, a lovely set of spikes earlier in the, in the winter. That's another one coming out there. This is my Van der Bronze butterfly. That's a Thai remake. It's parents of the Van der Lameda and the Van der Denisonian. This is another bloom coming out here. Oh, the blooms. Are, these are some of the blooms that I have now. Of course, guys, you know, they're, they're, they're going to go through their period and um, period of dryness because they, they don't like to be cold. They don't like the cold period, guys. So I'm just taking care, you know, and just getting them nurtured, um, getting them ready for the spring. We'll be having hopefully lots of blooms in the spring. So that's my vandas, guys. I'm just enjoying the roots. And the leaves are intact. They are crisp. That's what you do. You make sure that the, the, the leaves, they are crisp to touch. They are not too soft. And that's how you know they're in good condition, too. And some of the leaves, they got, you know, a little yellow. Get, we got some yellow leaves from, um, from the cold, cold and, you know, all of that. So guys, I continue to care for them until the warmer weather comes. And it's getting warm. The sun is out and I could feel the warmth. It's not like one of those mornings when the sun is out and the wind, it's, a, it's getting a cold nip to it. It's, you know, we're getting to warmer days. It's started to feel like um, the spring is coming on. So I continue to do my treatment and watch the blooms i'm getting some bud some um spikes here this one i, I think 
it was getting tr too much treatment for growth. So it was producing a lot of kikis. Now I have the mother plant and eight kikis. So I'm waiting patiently to see what it's going to do, how and when I'm going to be getting blooms. I hope I'll be getting clustered blooms. I hope I'll be getting clustered blooms from this. So guys, thanks once again for visiting with my channel. Thank you for continuing to grow with me.